Hey guys, Ogi Sanchi and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys five things I wish I knew sooner while playing Hogwarts Legacy. As I have actually beaten it, I got to level 40 on my main Hufflepuff playthrough. And we just started another one now as Gryffindor to see all the differences. And I can just, knowing all the stuff I know, it's so much quicker and faster to unlock stuff and get exploring and just enjoying the game yet again. So I'm going to share with you guys five things that I think is really important. Before we get into that, if you guys could go ahead and smash that sub and like button, it really helps me out so much, and I appreciate every single one of you beautiful people. Now that out the way, let's hop straight into the video now, shall we? So, point number one is to not do anything else and literally just focus the main story quest as soon as you start the game. Not too far in, I'd say about five hours in, once you pretty much get to the autumn season, so like season two, so to say, of the story, once you get to that point, you're at a good point. We've unlocked quite a lot of stuff that oh, really opens up the game and it makes such a large difference when you start exploring. I know early on you really want to start exploring as soon as you get into Hogwarts the first time. I literally just, I couldn't contain myself. I went exploring everywhere and the first time I actually got to fly a broom was like around level 20. But you can actually unlock the broom as early as level 6. That's where the story quest is. So I would at least suggest getting the broom. But then there's a couple of quests after getting a broom, two or three I believe in the main story. We actually get over to season two or autumn. You'll see like a little cutscene playing. I'll try and play it in the background for you guys now and I'll switch over to season two. And there is a lot more stuff to open there. The main thing being the Aloha Mora, the Demiguy statues quest. You will start that quest where you actually need to go and collect Demiguy statues. And that is a part of this tip is to collect the demiguy statues early on so you can actually unlock aloha mora level three it helps out so much especially when you come to places and then there's a lock and then you've got to go come back later again once you've got aloha mora level three so that's something i wish i did earlier go ahead and collect all the demiguy statues you don't need to collect every single one but you need to collect at least 20 or so i believe to unlock aloha mora three i will have a video in the description for you guys from somebody else it's done a really good job and it's so nice it's fairly easily to follow it and go collect all the demiguy statues for your low mora as soon as you can do that go ahead and do that and i'll link it down below for you guys anyway moving on to point two point two is to do merlin trials early i would recommend doing at least eight merlin trials they're pretty easy and self-explanatory there's a lot of different ones you got to burn stuff break stuff levioso lift stuff you've got to find little flies there's a lot of different ones I need to actually make a video on showing all the different ones. Maybe I'll make a quick short and show you guys how to do all the Merlin trials. But if you've been playing now, you actually have done probably most of them anyway. There's only a few different ones. But the reason why I want to do some Merlin trials early is for the inventory space they give you. They give you a lot of inventory space early, especially if you do, I believe it's eight. The first two is like the first level of the challenge. And then six after that is for the next level of the challenge. And every level unlocks four bag spots, I believe. So do your Merlin Trials early, at least eight of them, but you don't have to do too many more than that unless you want to. I would suggest just doing them whenever you come across them. And then for number three, I would say once you're at that point where you have gotten into the story and you've gotten a low more and everything like that, I would say go ahead and explore Hogwarts and Hogsmeade really early on. So you can get all the pages, you can find all the secrets. There's so much to find in Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. If you just run around and spam Revelio, you have the little pings to go collect the pages and that's a really quick way of actually leveling up early on because they do give you quite a lot of xp and then you find those chests with an eyeball on top and you use the sneak skill so you can actually like stealth yourself i think it's called delusional or something like that you cast that and then you see those chests with the eyeballs on them you sneak up to them and you can actually grab 500 galleons out of them pretty easy gold early on so you can go ahead and spend that at the shop and then set up your rumor requirement as we lead into point four, room of requirement is another good one, I would say. So you need a little bit of gold to set it up in the beginning. But what I would suggest is getting these large potting tables, getting as many of them as you can. The large potting table of here, you only need to buy this one. It comes the double large potting table. I think it's 3000 galleons. Go ahead and buy that early and then just set up your room of requirements overall. So you want to have plants always going. See, I've got some mellow sweet leaves. We've got flux weed. And then in the other ones i have all kinds of stuff i pretty much got one of all of the stuff that i could buy early on with the gold and if you don't have the galleons early like i said go to hogsmeade and open up all those chests with the eyeballs on them and you can get yourself the fertilizer plant in the back here 
so you can actually get some fertilizer that doubles your yield on your plants and everything so really nice there and then potions as well you need to do some collecting out in the world as well for those you need to collect all the plants and stuff you come across so set up your rumor requirement early on get it all set up like this and i believe somewhere in season two of the story where we're at now we can actually then go ahead and unlock magical beasts eventually and you want to set up your magical beasts as soon as you can have a couple of each different species so that you can start collecting materials from them so that you can upgrade your gear as you progress further in the story i plan on making a separate video explaining the best beast to have for all the armor piece upgrades as there's only a couple that you really need to upgrade all of your armor but that's in another video so stay tuned for that and then point number five i have for you guys is to pick your talent points carefully because you won't be able to reset them at any point so far there's no reset potion or way to like unchoose a talent so really make sure that you've read through everything and you've seen how many what talents you want don't pick one to experiment or what you could do actually is you save pick a talent and then go around and play with it a little bit if you don't like it then load back to that save and then obviously you won't have the talent so say before you pick one if you just want to go try it out but most of the talents are pretty good there's no really bad talents it's just you can't refund them to try something else so you got to really make sure that you do have the one that you want i'm going to plan on making another video on all the really good the best talents to have early but what i could recommend for you guys really early on is just these ones yeah for more slots the wigan weld potion the ancient throw and then also the revelio once you get to level 16 i kept the talent for that straight away but yeah revelio extra talent bars wigan weld potion ancient throw those are all really good early on and then everything else is completely up to you the stealth ones they could be good if you like playing little stealth approach but i myself am not too much on the stealth approach so i'm gonna leave those out and then dark arts is really strong and i actually plan on making a full video covering all these because it's really strong in every build even if i'm not playing a dark arts build for this build i plan on playing like a gryffindor no dark arts at all but i will be using curses because it turns my normal skills into curses the way i'm doing it and it's just really strong and really powerful talents overall but anyway that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found something helpful out of it if you did please drop a like and a sub as it helps me out so much and i'll catch you amazing people on the next one foggy saying out run free and dive into the sky Hear the